Hello and welcome to my studio. You know, when I used to teach a lot of workshops, one of the colors that I found gave uh, students a lot of trouble was purple. And it was that whole idea of mixing red and blue together should give you a purple if you know your color theory. So I'm going to show you what I used to see happening an awful lot in my classes. Someone would have a nice blue. So this is actually a, a pure blue, phthalo blue. And they would want to mix it with a red to get a purple. And I'm going to put in here, this is a cadmium red medium. And what they would end up getting instead is this awful kind of grayish color. Um, and they would get very, very frustrated because as we know, if, if you uh, mix a red and a blue, you're supposed to get a purple. Well, that only holds true if you mix the proper red and the blue. And the proper red is actually a magenta. Um, this is actually a cadmium red medium is actually an orangey red um, and I'll explain why we get that grayed down version. So if we take that same blue, so this is a phthalo blue, it's just got a little bit of uh, white added to it to lighten it up and we mix that with a magenta, which you'll see is much more tending towards kind of a purpley color, then we get this beautiful purple color. So again, if you're, if you're using primary colors and you want, you're thinking about color theory, it's really important to know what the pure primary colors look like. So this is a pure primary red, a magenta. And if you're not sure what that looks like, any of you that have inkjet printers, which is all of you, that's, it uses CMYK. Cyan is the blue, um, magenta is, M is for magenta and Y is for yellow and K is for black. So why did we end up getting this awful color? Well, this color here, this cadmium red, is actually magenta with a little yellow added to it. So as I'll show you, if I take some yellow and I add the magenta to it, I can mix something approaching that cadmium red medium. And, but we can see that, that we know, you saw me do it, there's some yellow in there. Well, if you know color theory, you know that the complement to purple is yellow. So the fact that we've, we're using a red with a little yellow in it has the exact same effect as if I take a little yellow and mix it in with this. And then we get that same ugly grayed down purple. So if you want to mix pure purples, um, you need to use a proper magenta. And actually most brands actually make a color called magenta. And, but it wants to be more on that kind of pink side um, or a mauve side of red than what we typically think of as red. If you're thinking of this as a red, um, then you're going to get purples like this. Uh, so again, to mix those really sweet purples, you need to use the proper red and that's a magenta. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you next time.